Yes, so hello and welcome to today's newcomers call. My name is Anita Human and um, I'll be the facilitators for today. And um, yeah, it's a culture that we do a quick intro. So I'll um, go first. I'll tell you about myself and um, where I'm joining this call from and how my day is going. So yes, so like I said, welcome to today's newcomers call. I'm Anita Human and I'm a meshmate in layer five. I've been contributing to the community for quite some time now. And uh, I'm a React developer, to be specific. My day, I'm joining this call from Nigeria, yeah. So my day is going pretty well. I got a new kitten, yeah. So I'm excited about it. I lost my previous kitten last month, sadly. So I just got a new one and I'm so excited about it. So, and uh, I'm going to pass it on to the next person and then call the next person to go afterwards once you're done until we get to the last person and then we'll kick, kick up. So, Aman, do you mind doing a quick intro? If I pronounce that right. Yes. So, am I audible? Yes, you are. It's correct. Yeah, so myself, Aman Javidi, I'm from New Delhi, India. I'm currently in the third year of my college and I was earlier a Google Summer of Code student with Pathology this summer. And I am the, I, my main interest lies in web development using React. And yes, I'm looking forward to contribute to layer five and learn from the community. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh, welcome to the community, Aman. Thank Good you. to have you here. All right, just tag the next person to, you know, continue the circle. Um, Hardik Agarwal. Yeah, so hey guys, so I'm Hardik Agarwal. I'm currently a third year CSE student at JP, JP University, India. I'm new to open source development, but uh, I'm, a, I'm primarily a Merge Stack developer. Uh, I like to work on the front end part of layer five. Uh, so yeah, that's something about me. Yeah. Awesome, it's good to have you here. Welcome to the community. All right, just tag the next person to take take down after you. Hello, do you hear me? Just call on anybody yeah, to uh, like, Jared. take over. All right. Uh, my name is Jared. I work at Nginx, um, specifically on the Nginx service mesh. Uh, and uh, I uh, worked more with the QA side of things. So I built out our internal automation framework for testing uh, the service mesh in multiple Kubernetes environments. Uh, so I'm very interested in the SMI uh, conformance and performance uh, tooling. Um, so that's where I hope to contribute there. And, uh, I'm joining from uh, Arizona, United States. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, happy to be part of this community. Happy to meet everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. Welcome to the community. And um, I hope to see more of you, Jared. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, and I will tag uh, Zane. Uh, hello. Well, hello. I guess I'm um, my name is Zendin Abdul Muiz. Uh, I joined the community last week and uh, it's been going great. I'm from uh, Kerala India, and I'm in my uh, second year of undergraduation. Uh, and uh, yeah, my uh, day is going pretty well. Uh, yeah, that's it about me. British, uh, you want to take more? Yeah, hello. Hello, folks. Uh, British, this side. Uh, I'm a pre-final year undergraduate student from India and I mostly do full stack development with React, uh, React Node, Flask and uh, Monstack basically. And uh, recently I've been uh, getting my hands dirty on the DevOps side of things, including uh, monitoring apps using Prometheus and Grafana. Uh, I came across this uh, organization, the Layer 5 organization, uh, last week and joined the community. 
and it's been pretty amazing till now hope to have a great time man thank you hey are you welcome to the community it's good to have you here okay just go on and tag the next person that hasn't done an intro and then um, okay so I think, I, I, did you have you done an intro? Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Yeah, I'm audible. Yes, you are. Yeah, all right. Uh, so I'm from Nepal and I basically do web development, right? So I found, I've been looking to contribute on open source projects and found Meshery as an interesting one to start with, right? So I joined the community and it's been great here. I've been, uh, learning to build the build the mesh and all everything and yeah hope to learn more and contribute more thanks for having me here oh, yeah you're welcome to the community Aditya. it's good to have you here um is there anyone who has done a quick intro okay all right I assume everyone has gone through. Yes, yeah, so um, once again, welcome to layer five newcomers call. Yeah, this call takes place every Thursday, same time. And um, it's not restricted to just newcomers. So even if you've been here for a while, you're always welcome to come in and drop your thoughts and ideas and also help other newcomers to get started as well. So you're always welcome here whenever you want to join. And um. Yeah, so if you've joined this community and you probably haven't received the community um, member form, please do indicate, and you can find that form on this particular doc here. Please do want to fill in this form so we can get to know you better and um, have a little knowledge about you. And um, upon filling this form, you get access to most of our documents, our Google Drive generally. So if you don't have access to this particular doc, it's probably because you've not filled in the mem membership form or you filled in, but then you didn't fill in with a Gmail account. So that's going to be a problem as well. So please be aware of that. And then uh, like I mentioned, this call is not restricted to only newcomers. So you're always welcome to join here. So what do we do at the newcomers call? We basically just give you a quick uh, run through on layer five, the community projects and um, best ways you can get started. We take your questions, your suggestions, and um, anything that we can actually help you with to best understand this community. And you, in the community, you must have come across a thing called a meshmate. So meshmates are your tutors or your mentors or your guardian angel, depending on what you want to call them. But yeah, those are what meshmates are. So the members of the community that sit and take their time to help um, lead you, walk you through your path on uh, in contributing to layer five, and also to provide you with all your answers and the resources that you need to make your experience in this community a smooth one. So if you need a mesh mate, you can always reach out to one using this link. We have a couple of mesh mates listed out here. So you can reach out to any one of them directly uh, requesting for their guidance or their mentorship. It all depends on what you are actually looking for in a mesh meet or what you want the mesh meet to do for you. And if you actually have, um, if you have a doubt on a particular issue or project you're working on, you can also reach out to a mesh meet. They're the best people to reach out to for that. And uh, you can also request the assistance of a mesh meet in Slack channel or on a discuss forum, whichever one you choose to. That's all depends on you. Yeah, so please do well to get yourself a mesh sheet. And uh, an overview of the layer five project. So we have um, a couple of projects in the layer five community. Most of them run on Jekyll. As you can see listed out here, we have the mesh.io website, which runs on Jekyll. Hold on. Okay, so we have the Meshery.io website. So um, this is um, a project that recently just got launched under the CNCF as um, a sandbox project. 
And if you're looking for ways to contribute to this project, don't don't think about the complexities. All right, the kill is not that is not that much of a big deal. So if you have basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, or JavaScript, and you know how to use Git and GitHub, you can actually make contributions to uh, our Meshri project. And also, you can actually set up Meshri following our documentation, which is very very explanatory and um, very friendly for you to get started with. So if you need a uh, helping hand getting started with Meshri, please do want to look at the Meshri documentation, how to set up Meshri. If you have any extra questions on this, do want to drop it in Slack and um, I would reply to you or any of the Mesh mates will definitely attend to you. If you also want to contribute, there's a contributing guide down here to help you get started. So do want to go through most of those resources. If you have extra questions regarding the community, we have our FAQ questions. They're actually being updated right now because there's several questions concerning this project that are not listed on here. So just um, hang in there, definitely they will be updated soon. But then if you have extra questions, you can always drop it in Slack or on our Discuss channel. Then another project that runs on the JQ is um, the Meshri doc itself. Meshri documentation, the one I just pointed out, also runs on JQ. So if you want to contribute to this, you don't have to be a React expert or a JQ expert or a Ruby expert. You can actually take on any of these projects and um, freely solve the task. And another project we have that runs on JQ is um, the SMP project, Service Mesh Performance. Yes, yeah, so this also falls under one of the projects that got into the CNCF. So do us look at the, the contribution guide and um, how to get started with this project. If you want to get a deeper dive, there are lots of resources on the, on the site to help you also get started with that. And um, coming down here, you'll see the JQ project. This is a project that is under the layer five uh, repository um, org itself. It's a burden project on, from the layer five community. And uh, if you're looking for a very good place to get your hands dirty, I'd suggest you, you know, implement most of your front end skills, most of your design skills on this project, because as you can see, it actually looks really, really, it looks well developed, but it could really need a lot of improvement. So if you have the very good front end skills or design um, ideas and thoughts, please do want to check out this project and then drop your thoughts on it. We could need your help on this project as well. And then we have the layer five project itself, which runs on Gatsby. And uh, don't panic, Gatsby is like a, a brother to <laughs> React. So if you have a basic idea of React, you can also take on a Gatsby project. So you can also um, explore the repository, layer five repositories. And uh, within layer five repository, you will find a couple of sites, a couple of pages that to help you get started within this community. So you can either see our calendar, um, link here so you can get updated on everything happening in the community okay oops i think i got that spelled wrong all right I really don't know why it doesn't click on my end whenever I do that that's immediately, but well, yeah, this is our calendar. So please do want to subscribe to our calendar so you get notified on every of our meetings. As you can see, they're all listed out here. So you don't get to miss out on any meetings or events happening in layer five. Do want to subscribe and you can see everything listed out here. You can also explore the members profiles. So upon your con, uh, upon your consistent contributions within the layer five community, you actually earn a community member profile. So we put your pictures on here and as well as your details. So everyone that comes into the community gets to see how much work and effort you put into this community. And you can see that we also have badges listed out here. So 
um, upon your contributions to a particular project, um, let's say you're contributing to the landscape project or the uh, image hub project or mesh project or mesh operations, yes, upon your consistent contributions to that project, you actually earn a badge. Yes, you can actually earn all of these badges, just so you know. All of these badges are all for you, so you can earn all of them, and um, it's all up to you to put in work for that. And you can also earn a MeshMeet badge by your consistent contribution and aid to community members. So the MeshMeet badge is mostly for um, relational um, tax, so your ability to help other persons in the community to get started and also ha have a perfect experience just like you is what is going to land you in Meshri Bad. But you can learn more about how to end the MeshMeet badge on the, the MeshMeet site, the MeshMeet web, web page over here. So if you have any questions regarding how to get started or how to be a MeshMeet, you can check that down here. Okay, I think I opened the wrong one. All right. So, and um, if you check further, we have our events also listed out on the layer five io sites and then our internship programs for those who would want to participate in layer five internships we have um very, we've participated in various internship programs from community bridge i think which has actually changed its name recently yeah but yeah to season google season of dogs season of uh summer of code october first um then we have the layer five own internship program then the one from linus foundation and then the major leagues hacking mentorship program, which recently just got concluded. I think some persons are still in the community from that internship program. Then we have also participated in She Could Africa Contribution Program, which um, is an event held, um, held by She Could Africa just to uh, help ladies in Africa in tech get more. Um, engaging in open source projects. So you can find out more on our internship programs, how to get started down here in the FAQ sections. But then if you have any additional questions, always do well to drop that in Slack. All right. So you can check our Figma design by the next to this link here, if you actually want to either help improve the design or contribute to the UI of any of our projects, you can request access to this, uh, the Figma site and the um, measurement to definitely give you access to that. We usually have hands-on tutorials on this, on our newcomers call, but we're trying to set, um, arrange the whole tutorial so we don't confuse ourselves and we actually get more persons to participate in our tutorials whenever we take on this, so we won't have that for now. But then we've recorded some of our tutorials on the Katakoda site. You can actually check that out. We have um, tutorials on getting started with meshery and understanding service meshes and then, um, yeah, everything about meshery and service meshes generally. So you can actually take on these courses just to give you a deeper dive of what service meshes are, how meshery works, and um, okay, this, this is taking long to load, but Please do want to check the site on your end. I don't know why it's so slow too. Oh yeah, I did open. So yes, you can learn more about how to manage your service meshes and the meshery performance testing. Please, you can take these courses if you want to have a deeper dive of um, meshery and then service meshes generally. Also, aside this, Aside the courses that are listed out there on our Katakoda, we are also planning to put together, I forgot to mention, we're trying to put up um, a learn measure program. So you actually get to participate or take on courses on, um, let me see if it's here. here. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're trying to put together our learning um, pathways for also users and contributors to measure as um, 
to Liga 5 community. So we're going to have courses on mystery, console, mastering selfish meshes, and different courses actually, just to help you not only contribute to the community or use mystery, but also actually get an experience and a certification upon taking these courses. So we're trying to develop this um, web page. If you have good ideas on best ways to implement or actually fast and is hasten this process, please do well to check um, the layer five GitHub repository and uh, you can actually get started from there. Then we also have tutorials that are listed out here that, that are not on the Katakoda side. So these are like the very basic tutorials to help you get started. Tutorials like how to use Gatsby, how to um, set up meshery, a deeper understanding of service meshes. Yes, yeah, so we have the very basic tutorials to help you get started. And you can check out this website here for more of those tutorials. Okay, I'm going to have to do a quick run because my system seems to be running low. I didn't notice that before I started and my charger is not very close to me. So give me five minutes and I'll be right back. I'm back. Hope I didn't take too long. All right. All right, it's plugged now. So yeah, if you check this website, you will see um a pathways on how your journey to, uh, through the layer five community is going through. It's definitely going to be extended. But yeah, for for a quick run, this is how your pathways go through until you actually gain to get to the stage where you earn yourself badges and then you get accept, um, invited into the organizations on GitHub and also earn a membership profile and then afterwards become a maintainer. It goes on and on and on and on. But then so far, this is what your, your pathways and layer five community is going to look like. If you're looking for how to make a quick issue, please do want to look at this guide on how to contribute. It will really be helpful if you have not found if you have not found an issue to contribute to yet. This is a very good guide to get started with. Then the tutorials I talked about, if you check down here, you see an introduction to contributing to mystery. There are slides for it, and also there are recordings, uh, video recording. Um, uh, were you sharing your screen? Because we don't see anything. Oh, <laughs> okay. I, I just totally forgot that. No yes, so, yeah. So this is um, a very good guide on how to contribute to a layer five community. And you can see if you're looking for how to do that and you've not found an issue yet or you're thinking of how to, please go through this. You can see at least that I should always um, look out for the good first issues first or the first time issues and or the help wanted labeled issues. So these are the key points if you're looking for very beginner friendly issues to help on. And um, afterwards, you can also explore other things listed out on the web page. You can explore this at your own convenience. 
And then while you do that, you can also check out the website tutorials I talked about. We have introduction to contributing to mastery and we have the slides provided and also recordings. But then recently we actually dropped a few more like updated videos on how to contribute to mastery. So you can check that on our YouTube channel. I'll point out later on. And though we have an introduction to mastery CTL, you can check out the slides and then um, how to use a layer, contribute to layer five, working with Git. Yeah, various tutorials generally, and please uh, check out this website, uh, this site at your own convenience. And uh, yeah, moving on to the layer five project overview. We have a list of both front end and then back end project. We have a list of front end and then back end projects. I think my network is really poor. It's loading extremely slow. If you check out the repository overview, you'll see the list of both the front end and the back end projects. So it depends on your area of specialization or your the best way, place that your skills best fit. You can take on either one of these. And uh, recently we divided our repositories into different GitHub organizations. So we have the layer five project, we have the mesh tree, we have the service mesh performance and the service mesh patterns. So depending on which one you want to focus your attention on, me in particularly, <laughs> or me in particular, I would actually contribute to anyone. It all depends on where I see uh, the need to like, make a contribution i i think i'm everywhere i'll contribute to the mesh project if i see that there's a need to there's an issue that's pending and needs to be attended to i'll actually take that on but yeah it all depends on where you want to focus your energy and then make full-time contributions to but then for anyone you make a contribution the the recognitions that come with it the badges and everything it are all um tagged to the layer five community so please take note of that we have the layer five that I, which is a front end project, it runs on Gatsby, and I pointed that out earlier. We have the Meshri repository, which runs on Jekyll, and I pointed that out earlier as well. Then the various other repositories that run on um, Jekyll, and uh, then we have the Meshri UI, which is um, a React Next JS centered project. So if you're actually looking for where to, you know, put say, all the knowledge you've acquired in React or Next.js or TypeScript, this is a very good place to focus that energy. Then we have the mesh map and um, please do well to explore these repositories. I also pointed out the Get Nighthawk project, which is a bottom project. And um, yeah, please do well to explore this project. It's, a, it's actually a very interesting project and uh, needs so many hands to accomplish its targets. Then they we did this discuss.io. So we recently created um, a discuss forum, reasons being that our Slack was, um, was lacking so many things or so many, um, yeah, so many features in the sense that if you drop the comments today, you might not see the comments that you dropped in the Slack channel after two to three weeks. Yeah, and that was a problem or that is a problem for the layer five Slack. So we decided to create a discuss forum where we have everything um, laid out for us. So do well to sign in if you've not created an account yet. If you have questions or very complex questions on maybe how to set up or you're having a bug or you're experiencing an error trying to set up and you need assistance on that, this is a perfect place to drop that because the questions that you asked today, someone might come into the community tomorrow and those questions will turn out to be very helpful to them. So you only you also be helping us but also helping uh, other persons that will be coming into the community by putting your questions out there because I don't think they'll get, they'll get missing into the abyss anytime or any moment at all. So please do well to check out the discourse forum and create an account, drop your questions, 
and their topics of discussion or anything that's what we want to bring up. We have various categories. So if you will, if the topic you're asking on is either on landscape or service mesh, get night hawk, whichever one, you can actually create an, a topic under that particular category. And um, people would come under that to engage and answer your questions or your suggestions, whichever one it may be. All right, so moving forward, we I pointed out the layer five and learn dash ng, which is um, also um, an ongoing project right now. So please do want to check out this, drop your inputs and your suggestions if you have any. And uh, the best way is you can actually fasten this project because I think there's so many persons that are anticipating it, myself in particular. I want to learn mesh just as much as you'd want to learn and understand mesh. So getting this project out there would be the best way to actually get more persons to learn. Me especially. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have the back end project. And um, if you're on the back end and you're looking for where to get started, this is um, the perfect place to we have the mesh project. Most of our backend projects run on Golang. So if you have an idea, just an idea of how Golang works, then please dive into most of these backend projects and uh, do the magic. Drop all the innovative ideas you got and let's make this work. In. And yeah, you can see there are like several backend projects that are listed out here. And Every single one of them needs a helping hand. So there's so much work to be done. And uh, it's a good thing we have all our contributors around us. So please do well to explore the repository overview and see the best places you can focus your energy on. And like I mentioned earlier, we usually have demos here, but today we're not going to be having any demo, unfortunately. So moving forward, um, we usually set out recordings for each of our meetings. So these are like our precious jewels or treasures. So we don't actually get to miss out on anything and you don't get to miss out on anything. So even if you're not able to meet up a particular meeting that day, you can always refer to the YouTube playlist and then catch up on what was discussed in the meeting um, minutes for that day. So you can check out the YouTube um, playlist for the newcomers call, but they can also check out the, list, the playlist for the various meetings that go on in the community and then catch up on all that has been going on. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we actually need that to click on the subscribe buttons. So do not meet, on, meet out on any of our meetings. Do well to subscribe to get notified whenever a meeting comes up and you don't miss out on any of this. And then moving forward to the last item on this, we have a quick questionnaire. So we, I, we put this out here for persons who need extra resources. Let's say you want to contribute to Golang, but you don't have um, really solid background in Golang, or you need like more, um, more videos or articles on how to like contribute in Golang. You can just write your name down here. Let's say you want to contribute to a JQ project. I need more resources on that. Even if the resources are not from the community, I would definitely look out for these resources and drop them for you in the Slack channel. So do us write your name down here if um, you need any of these resources. And I'll definitely reach out to you in the Slack channel. And um, I think I just took out that person's name. Okay, I'll add it for you. But if you don't have access to this, add it here, please do us a fill in the community member form. Yeah, I thought we were supposed to write it there. So. What? Uh, no, uh, I thought the participants okay. were right there. So I, I... And um, also, if you come to the top of this meeting minute, you will see our calendar here. and I. I think I've already mentioned this so many times. I don't want to do that again. Please do want to subscribe. And then if you've not joined us,
Yes, uh, sorry. I had to check the network. It went out. I think I'm no longer sharing my screen. Can you still screen, see my screen? No. All right. So uh, I was just about to wrap up. Yeah. If you check the top of the community minutes, you will see links to our GitHub um, handle. So please, if you've not explored our GitHub, please do well to look at that. And then our YouTube channels, if you're not subscribed to that, you can find a playlist on um, playlist on our meetings and also recordings on um, everything meshry, savage mesh, and the, most of our projects are listed out on our YouTube channel. So you can explore that on there. And also our community drive, if you don't have access to this, it's probably because you've not filled in the newcomers form, which I urge you to do was look at that and also the working materials that are listed out here the first commerce welcome guide if you've not looked at this or have not dropped it for you in the slack channel you can also look at this at your own convenience and then the repository overview which we actually looked at earlier and then if you're also looking for places to contribute we have issues that are labeled help wanted most of them might be assigned but then i'm sure there are some that are still left pending you can drop um, a comment on the it's indicating interest for those issues and then uh, someone would assign them to you my my network doesn't seem to favor me today okay I think there are still some issues that are not assigned yet, as you can see. So you can check them out and drop comments underneath it if you need. Okay. Yeah. So we have several issues that have just been dropped here. So many. So if you're looking for issues to get started with, that's a good place. Look at the good first issues or the help wanted labeled issues and drop a comment under it indicating interest. Also, we have our social media handles for Twitter and also LinkedIn. So you can follow us either on any, or you can follow on both, all depends on you. We have the one for the layer five, then the meshery, and then the savage mesh performance. And also by the, by the right hand, you see the um, social media for LinkedIn. Yes, yeah, so please do also drop a like and a share tag and a follow. Yeah, because we'd appreciate that. So that is uh, mostly about today. Currently, we're trying to put together our community handbook because although we have everything compiled in this doc here, uh, we're trying to put it on the website. I think that's one thing I left out while talking on the layer five website. So um, we're trying to put out the community handbook on the layer five website itself. So um, you don't have to sign into the uh, community to actually go over uh, all the amazing things that are happening in layer five community. So yeah. We have to put our handbook out there so you can check out how far we've gone with the layer five handbook. Okay. So this is what it looks so far. I, I, I can assure you, don't trust this website form yet because it's so disorganized. We're trying to put it together. So there's, so there's still so much to be done. That's why we've not actually sampled it on here. You, if else you'd have actually seen it listed out among the things to be seen under the community. But then we're still working on this. So if you actually have suggestions on how we can implement this or you have more ideas, you can also reach out to me in Slack or you can create an issue on our GitHub channel regarding the handbook and then assign it to yourself or assign it to somebody else. It all depends on you. So there's so much to be done. We're still working on it, but um, definitely would have this out for you as soon as possible. 
but then you can actually check out the handbook version, the documentation version on here and see how far you can um, get more resources about the community. And uh, I pointed out the discuss forum. So if you've not signed up for this, please do well to sign, create an account on our discuss forum and start dropping your questions and your suggestions and your thoughts on there. Then we have an open source questionnaire to just get to know you better and uh, get to know which places we can best assist your, your journey and your contributions through this community. So you can also help us fill in this community questionnaires and um, yeah, it's really helpful to us to help you. Then we, we're also working towards creating more um, recordings. Like I mentioned earlier, we're actually putting in so much work to make sure we put on recordings regarding this. So that's it listed out here. But then if you have a new tutorial that you expect us to put out there for you, you can check out this recording to the list and drop the thoughts down there. So I've been doing so much talking and so much explanations. If you have a question, please do well to ask right now. If you have any thoughts or ideas or anything generally, anything you want to say, I think I'll just leave the, the table to you. All right. Any questions at all? Okay. Oh, uh, one question. Uh, so, um, what would you? Uh, so you have Slack, discuss, and then um, discussions in GitHub, right? Like, yeah. which ones do you use for? How do you know where to like write something? Which forum do you? So if you have a question, well, um, personally, I'll advice using the discuss forum because any question that you ask on the discuss forum you can copy the link from discuss and, and drop it and also you have to you need answers for that particular question you ask in future you won't have to find it on slack so personally i would say use the discuss channel create your questions here copy the link and then drop it in Slack and tag whoever you want to tag. Or you can create the questions here and tag whoever you want to tag, you know? Because I'll definitely copy, for me, I, I usually copy the link and drop it in Slack for quicker response because most persons might not check this course all as frequent as possible. Yeah, so always copy the link and then drop it in Slack and tag whoever you want to tag. But then personally, I, I would suggest using Discuss Forum because this, this is the most efficient one right now. OK, thank you. Yeah. Right. Any other questions? OK. All right, that's fine, British. Are there any other questions? All right, then. I think we have 10 more minutes before we wrap up. Yeah, so there, there seems to be any questions right now. Yeah, I appreciate everyone for coming. Thank you, Jara. Thank you, Hadi Aman, uh, Abdul, Prisa, Barik. Um, I, I can't pronounce your name. I don't want to. Yeah, so thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for making it to today's meeting. I hope to see more of your contributions in the Slack channel and also see more of your questions as well. So please, if you have any doubts or complexities, don't forget to drop them either in the discuss forum or in the Slack channel, whichever one best fits your choice though. And uh, to see more of your contributions. Uh, thank you very much. And then let, let me just save you the remaining 10 minutes to, you know, have... <laughs> Have um have the ten minutes to yourself. So, 
And don't forget to join uh, tomorrow's meeting. We're going to be having a community meeting tomorrow. So everyone in the community is expected to be there. So that's a very good platform for you to make a grand um, introduction to everyone in the community. So please do well to join our um, general meetings tomorrow and drop a hi. And yeah, that's all for the meeting. So you're welcome to join us next week. Thank you. And that's all for today's meeting. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Anita. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.